guys, welcome back. Um, it's been a while. Coronavirus decided to shit on everything, basically. <laughs> I thought I'd come back with just a bit of a coronavirus update video. So I'm in my comfies today because that's what everyone is doing in coronavirus. This is my favourite jumper of all time. It's vintage and so cosy. And I've been living with my hair up because it's just easier, isn't it? Let's be real here. <laughs> oh, where to start? So... Basically, when coronavirus started, I was over at Ed's, which is where I am currently. This is our bedroom at his. It's fairly tidy. There's a few clothing bits on the bed that I need to put away, but that's fine. I'm shooting on my phone because I thought I'd have a go at it. Um, it's easier. I've got my phone on me and I can just airdrop it to my laptop. Before coronavirus started, you might have known through my Instagram that my cat hadn't been well. Uh, she had a lump on her back and she wasn't eating and she was losing weight and problems and basically her kidneys are packing in but she the lump on her back was carcinoma so she's just had last week she had major surgery to have that removed so they literally like shaved off half her back and did this massive thing and took it all out she's doing fine she's just as buzzy as ever but she's wearing like a vest <laughs> um bless her so that's what's happened with her, but she's doing fine. She's recovering well at the moment. She's eating well, so I'm okay with it all. It was very stressful, as I'm sure you can understand, and that was why I stopped filming in the first place, and then coronavirus just took a bit more of a toll on everything. Oh, basically, where to go from here? Um, I kind of just wanted to check in, see how you guys are all doing, how are you finding coronavirus? I think it's all just a matter of coping strat strategies at the moment. I do a lot of colouring on my iPad, that's one of my favourite things to do to chill out. Uh, I've been binge watching The X-Files with Ed, <laughs> that's our favourite. Uh, just generally taking time and it's kind of allowing yourself to take time and to sleep in if you need to and forcing yourself to do a bit of exercise because we're not all doing those bits of exercise that we really need to be doing. If you want me to do a video on coping strategies and bits, I'd be more than happy to do so. They kind of come into play as well with theatre and auditions because it's learning ways to bring that anxiety down, chill out and just centre yourself. Those are important. I'm going to go back to my old routine of two videos a week, one on Wednesday, one on Friday. So today is Friday. I did film the video the other day and the sound didn't come up because I had my headphones connected. <laughs> Uh, my wireless one's automatically connected, so it didn't record the voice that was here with me. Um, which is a bit irritating, but there we go. And basically just had to redo it, which is what I'm doing now. Don't forget to check out Theatre Book Club. It is a book club that I have set up myself. Basically, at the moment with coronavirus, we're reading a play a week. Today, I will be announcing which play we'll be reading next week, which is exciting. And yeah. So it's all, it's all going well. <laughs> At the moment we're reading Lungs by Duncan Macmillan. If you wanna join in later, then that's perfectly fine. I'm gonna have, we have a website, so I'm gonna list what we've been wa watching, reading. <laughs> and don't forget to follow the Theatre Book Club Instagram where I post all of Theatre Book Club info. Don't forget to also follow me on Instagram because I put so many more updates on there. It's just much easier. I post photos and bits and bobs and I'm looking at doing some lives and some IGTV. I haven't quite figured that out yet, but it's on my list. Anyway, guys, this is just a short one for today. Next week, we're going in back full swing. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all doing okay. If you're not feeling okay, don't worry. It will get better. One of my favorite quotes is, if it's not, uh, everything's okay in the end. And if it's not okay, then it's not the end. That is one of my favourite quotes and I think at this point in time it's quite relevant. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I shall see you through a lens very, very soon. Okay, bye!